What's up guys? Welcome back to Little Alchemist Remastered. Uh, you can see up in the corner I have finally named myself Clueless like I was uh, should have been for a long time. Um, today's pretty cool. We might have had a little gap in our videos. Uh, that's on me. I did do a video for the villain um, portal and that's now over. <laughs> but I cut it into three vid parts and did not turn the microphone on for the very first part so now we're on the food portal the whole premise of that video was i waited till the very end i didn't spend any gold while i was doing the portal i didn't uh attack like dr robo or anybody on the maps and i just wanted to see how much gold i could make just playing the portal and some arena battles without tiebreaker and uh it came out to like 15 or 16,000 gold. I had to buy like a hundred and seven hundred and some well over a hundred packs. And that got me like 703 dust, I think. And that was all without greed. Eventually I, I might have to remake the video uh, closer to when greed comes out and then do it the next week and show how much better greed is. So I have the video other parts the sound on one of them wasn't very good, and uh, the third video doesn't really make sense. It just shows that I have a whole bunch of dust, and I'm kind of upgrading my deck. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, I told Dustin about it. I might give it to him. I might not. It might be at the end of this video. You might have already watched it. Don't know. But we'll see how it turns out. But today, what's really cool about this one is it's a new week in Arena, and we have Tiebreaker. Finally, so let's go ahead and get that bot. Boom, we purchased Tiebreaker. Let's go and equip it to our deck here. Just scroll right on over, and there's Tiebreaker. That's awesome. So now, when we tie in Arena, that will count as a win. And since it's a new week, why don't we just see how we can do here? Let's go against uh, Hero Cross. Hero Cross. And see if we can get some Tiebreaker wins in. Don't love that hand. Hate this hand a lot more. All right, let's go with that. Okay, they only got one thing, so that's good. Okay, keep building up our combos here. Okay, hopefully. Okay, there's a power up, so we just, let's see. go with the higher defense I guess okay hopefully they do get a power up here and we can really show it off well it's gonna be close our new man eaters I talked about that in the last video okay so we're gonna tie here very cool I just destroyed this person but at the very end they got that but it doesn't matter it's a victory because of tiebreaker oh so I, I ended up pretty well in um masters one at the at the end of this last one not really close to legendary one but with tiebreaker things might change i definitely see a major problem with my deck in the fact that i've got to get more fused cards like really bad because i just sometimes struggle to build up my three turn combo to get the win and like this time, I've had no problem getting the three turn, and I might not find. See, they 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 got their three turn. I might not find an a, a, a power card. I didn't. So they could easily beat me here. And okay, it's not over. We just need a power card before they get their power card, or at the same time, we just need a power card. There's a power card. Okay, so that's a win. Even if they would have had a power card, it would have tied but we have tiebreaker so exciting so exciting so let's go show us show off our deck um because you've not seen it in quite a bit now so this is our deck we uh replaced uh the ninja sorcerer i believe with this man eaters from the jungle pack so you don't even know about the jungle pack i think i i made another video when i was buying the jungle pack and it was so depressing because the onyx card which was prehistoric here i didn't get till the 
next to last pack. I didn't have to buy the whole pack out, but I had to buy all but one of the packs out. And that was just horrible and I sounded depressed and I couldn't send it out. So then I made a whole video where I was, I upgraded my jungles and stuff. So y'all don't even know, this is a new card. New card to, to Little Alchemist Remastered. <laughs> oh, it's struggling to make videos on a crappy iPhone recorder. It's funny. But I mean, right now we are working on another jungle pack card that we've got in Anaconda Snack here. Um, probably should have just gone ahead and done another critical strike one, but I wanted to replace auto with a crushing blow. So that's what we're working on. We're going to replace that auto with a crushing blow. Um, we're working on the food. I don't know if we're going to have to have two copies of food in the deck right now. Don't know if we're going to have to fuse this one. Not sure. Since the addition of jungle and there is talks of a new card being added called darkness, soon uh tap dog has not redone the optimizer so i don't really know if this is the best deck for me right now but it's strong enough that i'm not worrying about it um i know i need to fuse a, one of i have an extra copy of jungle so i need to get it fused i don't know if i need to have two fused of the miniature i have another miniature card that i could put in this deck i just don't know so once the optimizer gets done, I'll probably make a video where we do look and see what kind of uh, deck that we should have. But this is my deck right now. Five final fuse cards, that's what you want, and then 30 combo cards. That is the optimized way of play. Some people might add one or two more cards, but then it's sometimes it's really hard to, if you, if you have too many combos, it's really hard to find these final fuse cards. And then if you have more final fuse cards, sometimes you get loaded down with those and you can't make combos. So 35 is what people do. This is the smallest deck that you can have. And that is five final fuse cards and 30, and 30 combo cards. So I think we're just going to continue doing some uh, battles here. So these are pretty tough guys. Um, Bob Fred has the least amount of health. But Fun Seth is named Seth, and so am I. So let's just see if we can beat Fun Seth. I actually struggle. I would think that I would have a better time against uh, Enchanter decks, but I actually sometimes struggle. So we have two final fused cards here. Mm, don't love it. Let's redraw. Okay, I think I like this better if we can find that final fused card. Okay, so that's a three combo. Okay, there's the... Okay, we are golden. Yep. All right. All right, Ty. Winner goes to me. Now, this doesn't work on defense. Uh, when you're on defense, it's just like the... Um, the damaging red fire... The, like, normal... Uh, damage type. You don't get ties on defense. The AI doesn't work that way. Something to remember. But, I mean, you should have very little problem uh, getting higher up with tiebreaker. I'm super excited. So the next thing we're going to work towards is definitely greed. And I'm hoping to be able to buy all three copies of greed when uh, it comes out. I don't know. I've not done the math. Need to. But it'll be close. It'll really stink if I'm if I'm just like a little short. Ooh, we might lose this one. Might lose this one. Go big. Biggest damage. Yep. Uh, don't nope, we're not gonna do eleven damage, unfortunately. So we lost that one. That's why it's so important to be able to get those three turn, uh, three turn wins. Gotta, gotta get it. Do a few more here. See, this wasn't a good hand. Why did I keep this hand? This is a horrible hand. Not enough fused cards.
they're making some strong combos. All right, so we got our five. We just need a power up now. Final form card, come on. I'll just get that tiebreaker win. There we go. Dragonfire is such a cool looking card. Love tiebreaker. Can't wait to see how high I can get this. Uh, probably gonna grind a little bit more. When does this league end? Yeah, no, season ends in 13 days. So next week I'll probably grind a little bit more. Try to get as high as possible so that this is what you get uh, from your weekly rewards. I get 250 staying in Masters 3. Man, if I could get up to Legendary 1, getting 10 puzzle pieces a week, I mean, that would help a lot. you get those stronger, those Onyx Final Form cards really fast. That'd be super cool. And then season, uh, just a good amount of gems and a big... Uh, amount of puzzle pieces I'd like to get into the top 500 that's definitely doable I definitely think I could get into the top 500 I don't know if I can get into legendary one but I think I could probably get to top 500 now that I have uh, a tiebreaker let's go with Jacob definitely ready to see oh there's a final form card already but i, I can't three turn with that most likely should so if you'll look they have 96 cards most likely i mean they could have really really good cards just a whole bunch of them but most of the time when you see a high number like that you can usually count on winning just because they're gonna struggle to make combos or or good combos and they're gonna struggle to find good final form cards unless they just have like 20 in there, you know, uh, you never know. All right, let's go with uh, Insect Man, not to be confused with Ant Man or anything. Okay, not going to three turn, so very well could lose this one if he gets a double. Oh, he didn't. That's a good break for us. So that, that's going to be a tie. It's definitely going to be a tie. go with man eaters because it's our nose card and it's the highest it goes all the way up to 70 it's so cool lucky break that they didn't three turn us four turn uh, one turn can make all the difference it's really crazy it's gonna get to the point where actually having high amounts of health is going to matter Ooh. I can three turn if I can get a power. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna let's see. Yeah, go with the highest defensive cards. We're gonna three turn if we can find the final form card. So hopefully we can find that final form card. No final form card yet. Let's go with the highest defense again. Final form card. Oh, see, I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. I could have re—I could have searched for uh, that final form card, man. And that's a loss. That's only gonna do six damage. It's a—it's a gamble. Having that's why I need to get more fused cards in my deck, just so that I can, uh, when I find that I have a final form card. I can stick with it because I'll know that I'll three turn. Right now it's just a little bit too hard for me to three turn. Let's redraw and look for that final form card. So there's the final form card and plenty of uh, opportunities for us. Let's see. So let's go with mm, that. Go with the D3000. I think this is our best chance of three turning because I can, yeah, I can just do a kind of low defensive card here. Let's 
having tiebreaker means that you can do some wild stuff because it doesn't matter how little or how much you win by tie is a tie and that's a win well i'm glad that i got to show off some tiebreaker for you guys uh I don't know if I'll make another video this week. Don't know if you're going to see a little bit of that last stuff or not, but we'll catch you next time. Hope you have a good time. Let us know in the comments if you're checking out Little Alchemist Remastered. We'll see you.